So we are going to do oil pastel scale builder here. So oil pastels um, look like this. These are brand new, so they have the wrapper on them, but eventually these wrappers kind of peel off, so you just have this kind of stump. But oil pastel, you, you're able to tell them because they feel a little oily in your hands, and they get your hands pretty dirty, okay? So, step one, color in soft. So I want you to just kind of color in like you're coloring with a crayon. Don't press down too hard. If you notice, this looks pretty much like a crayon. All right, now let's color hard. You should be able to see a big difference here. If you press hard, you can get really, really pretty marks, and especially if you're using these bright, bright, pretty colors, it almost looks like paint. This, the white is coming through, so this would be good if you want to keep something a little lighter, but really it just looks like crayon, so why use these if you can just use crayon, right? So if you press hard, you're going to get nice, nice, bright, 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 pretty, pretty colors, okay? And don't let any white in between your strokes. Okay, so next over here we're going to do mix with white. So pick a color and just kind of color in a little bit and press hard. And then take white and go on top of that color. And I'm just going to do half of it white so you can see the difference. So you should be able to tell a difference here from just regular blue and blue mixed with white. This is a little lighter and it's a little creamier, a little softer, okay? And you can try that with more than one color to kind of see what you get. Do a little experiment in your little box. The tricky thing with oil pastel, which you probably just saw right there, the white and all the colors, it can pick up the other colors and stay on your stick. So sometimes what you might want to do is like get scrap paper and kind of clean it off before you color. That way it's nice and clean. All right, down here, mix with black. Do the same thing. Pick a color and find your black and go on top of that color with black. Now black is a very powerful color so it almost looks black there and we want it to kind of look just like a dark red so I take back my red and I go back on top a little bit and that should soften up the black just a tad. Okay so if you want to get something really dark or add a shadow this is what you would do. Again, you can play with different colors there if you want to. All right, mixing colors. This is super fun. So I'm going to kind of follow the color wheel a little bit. So I'm going to find different shades of purples. Okay, so here we have blue violet, violet, red violet, red. So they kind of follow the color wheel. So I will start here, blue-violet, and I'll color a little bit. Color about to there. Now I take my next color, color a little bit on top of that color. And you're going to see that color kind of gets a little lighter because the red-violet is a little, or violet's a little lighter than um, blue-violet. And then I'm going to bring that color out a bit. And now I go to red-violet, color a little bit on top. Move it over. Take the red, a little bit on top, move it over. It's super fun to layer these colors, and this way you get a nice transition from color to color, rather it being just one color next to another color. Okay, so if you want them to blend, all you do is mix them, layer them a little bit, okay? All right, now blending colors is kind of like paint. So let's say you want a certain kind of orange, even though we have orange in here. I can take some red, because we know red and yellow create orange. Voila, look what I've done. I've mixed colors, or I've blended colors. Okay, Scraffito is super fun. So just color this in. You want to take a tool so um, you can use a pencil but I like to use something called a, like a stylus it's a little stick that you use and you're going to carve into this color you just take that stick carve right in
whatever it is you want to make. So you can make a whole artwork. You can cover a piece of paper in oil pastel and then draw your piece with a type of stylus by scraffitoing. Scraffito means to scratch. So that's what we're doing. We're scratching the oil pastel away. And that's what we're coming up with. Super fun to play with. Last one, streaking or feathering. These are just kind of like directional lines. So you go one direction. And fun to play with color. And you're kind of getting a natural blend of colors there. So this is how you would do your oil pastel skill builders.